good evening, good morning, good afternoon, any day time we want to call it. Professor, good, uh, hello everybody. I am here talking to Professor Shwajo. Is that right? Yes. So, is that okay if I can ask you some questions, Professor Ashwaju? Oh, yes, go ahead. So, I know that you are my grandpa, is that right? Yes, I am the father of your mother and therefore your grandfather. Okay, so how does it feel turning 18? Oh, gorgeous, gorgeous, delightful. Uh, as you know, it's been celebration and celebration. It's been uh, almost uh, two weeks of celebration. It began with uh, an education summit that was organized by Emeco Development Initiative uh, at Emeco in Ogun State on the 11th of April on the theme of uh, salvaging the vulnerable through education. So that, that kicked off the celebrations. And then it moved on to the 23rd of April. Uh, uh, University of Lagos where the Department of History and Strategic Studies of the University, my department, uh, organized a round table in my honor. And uh, with regards to the 80th birthday, on the theme of Lagos School of History. Lagos School of History, which is distinguished as a school of applied African history. Uh, we pride ourselves in the University of Lagos as historians whose research, whose teaching are all geared towards problem solution, understanding of society. Uh, so that was on the 23rd, and the, it was a big turnout graduate students, staff, the university at large, including invitations from outside the university. We enjoyed ourselves. It was a lively discussion. We had a plenary session and we had two parallel working groups. Um, and then that was on the 23rd. We had some little rest on the 24th. On the 25th was the book launch, which apart from the book itself, was very, very, very productive of historical events like the, the incident of the feud between uh, two Yoruba traditional rulers who came on invitation to the, to the book launch, uh, which has created a ripple effect because of that public manifestation of differences among the revolvers. Uh, historians at that meeting have organized a working meeting uh, tomorrow in Ibadan. Ibadan, because that's where we all trained. So the, the, the celebration as well as it as if it were is still continuing at, at academic level. On Saturday 27, which was the bad day proper, uh, was the interdenominational Thanksgiving uh, in America and a big civic reception uh, in the community to which so many also came from outside. So I cannot, I cannot have it better. So my next question is, I knew that you did a lot of jobs, like you did different works entirely. So like out of all of the things you did, which one did you like the most? Oh, okay. Um, actually, AB, I didn't do many, many works. I did just one work of different applications. Primarily, I'm a teacher teacher, primary school level, 
teacher secondary school level, teacher at tertiary level in the university. And uh, uh, at the latter level, teaching also involves research. So I was also doing research. If you think that is a different job, is not. It's, it's, it's an extension of the same teaching engagement. <laughs> of course, the research in which I am distinguished, thank God for it, uh, the, the study of boundaries, the problem of boundary conflicts, conflicts over boundaries, territorial conflicts, all of this in the area of comparative history and borderland studies. This is a field that lends itself to direct policy relevance and therefore policy application. And that was why I got my public life is also an extension of my academic career as a teacher, as a researcher at the university. Commissioner, first commissioner, the Foundation Commissioner, International Boundaries of National Boundary Commission, uh, involvement with African Union Border Program as a member of the African Union Border Program Steering Committee, uh, consultancy to so many United Nations bodies on boundary and boundary related matters, and so on and so forth. But all of these do not amount to other jobs. It is still the same engagement as a teacher, the same engagement as a researcher. And so, if you then ask me, uh, like you have asked now, which one did I enjoy most? It is the uh, the the applicability of my research to solving societal problem. And that is why in the book, in my autobiography that was launched on Thursday, it is still clearly stated there in chapter 12, I think, chapter 12, that the biggest sense of achievement that I've got, that I've had is as a pioneer and a forerunner in Africa in borderland studies. Uh, I pride myself greatly as the midwife of comparative African borderland studies. And of course that means also a manifestation of the discipline of history as inherently relevant, socially relevant, and this has been demonstrated in my public life, uh, Commissioner Boundaries, by Boundaries in Nigeria, Commissioner Boundary, of Boundary, Commissioner Boundary Commissioner in local state, uh, uh, even Boundary Commissioner, if you want to say so, at Africa level as a foundation member of African Union for the Program Steering Committee. So I, uh, I am particularly happy about the choice of my area of research and particularly because it lends itself to being practically applied to solution of societal problems. This will be my last question. Yes. Or will be to anyone that haven't. So, my last question is that did you enjoy this interview? Ah, yes. For many reasons. But the most important is that it's being conducted by you, my granddaughter, and it's being anchored by your uncle in law, uh, Uncle Diego. Can you do? Um, who is one of my greatest and greatest sons. So um, I, I have a lot of 
satisfaction and I'm very, very, I must tell you, I enjoyed it. Thank you for joining us. Thank you.